Hey everyone, it's Andrew with Alfie Munitions. Uh, we've recently been getting questions on case weight and velocity, and so how does our brass case weight affect that velocity? Reason behind these questions is a lot of people infer that the weight of the case will determine or show uh, how much internal volume it has. Internal volume affects the velocity of the bullet uh, by ideal gas law is the easiest way to look at it. They're inversely related, so as you increase volume, that's gonna decrease your pressure, so in the other way, if you decrease internal volume, you're going to increase pressure. So we did a study we wanted to take a look at and see how our brass over different weight variants will affect the projectile velocity. So we decided to test this. Uh, we shot 250 pieces of our latest 308 production run. We loaded it very carefully to make sure that we were trying to just, just concentrate or isolate the weight variable. Uh, from that 250 round test, our SD was 12.9 feet per second and our ES was 56 feet per second. So it shows that it was a good loading process. When we look at the data in this graph up here, uh, we don't see any kind of trend from high to low or low to high. So that way the lightest grain, uh, grain weight brass of 170 roughly, uh, we didn't see those slower velocities. And on the other end of the scale, for the heavier weight uh, brass, we didn't really see uh, the higher velocities. So we see a very even uh, field. So the reason why we don't see this spread in velocities, depending on the case weight that other manufacturers do, is because of our OCD technology tooling development. Uh, our tools are all specifically designed and set up and manufactured uh, so that we have very consistent internal volumes. So when a customer purchases 100 pieces of brass from our website, we can almost guarantee that that brass was produced all within the same 650 pieces. And why that's important is because we track and change our tooling out due to tooling wear, any kind of differences or breakages, so that way there's not very much change in internal capacity. That's why when we did this test, we didn't see that velocity difference that you can with other manufacturers' brass. Uh, so due to our tight tolerances and everything that goes into OCD brass, we can almost guarantee or ensure very consistent velocities over various weights of brass. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please feel free to leave them a, a comment on this video. I'll try to answer them, or if follow up with more videos. Uh, give us a like on social media and uh, if you have any more questions about anything else that we can have some videos and answers to just let us know and we'll get to them. Thanks very much everyone.